بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے لیکچر دس لیکچر از فار آئی ایس بی اسٹوڈنٹس ہو وش ٹو اپلائی فار آئی ایس ایس بی اینڈ وانٹ ٹو جوائن آرمڈ فورسز ایز آفیسرس اٹس اے سارٹ آف موٹیویشن لیکچر فار دوز بیسیکلی دے مسٹ نو دا ماٹو آف پاکستان آرمی آرمڈ فورسز پرٹیکولرلی دس لیکچر از فار دوز ہو جوائن ٹو اور وش ٹو جوائن پاکستان آرمی دے مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دا ماٹو آف دا پاکستان آرمی اینڈ وٹ آر دا تھنگز آن وچ پاکستان آرمی از بیسڈ اپون وٹ آر دو اسپرچل تھنگز وچ پرپیئر دا مائنڈس آف دا سولجر ٹو سیکریفائز دیئر لائف فار دس ہوم لینڈ سو دس لیکچر از کمپرائزنگ آف دوز تھنگس وچ میک اے پرسن ریڈی فار سیکریفائزنگ ہز اور ہر ویلیوبل تھنگ دیٹ از لائف فار دا کنٹری اور فار دا ہوم لینڈ سو دا ماٹو آف دا پاکستان آرمی ہیز بین ٹیکن فرام تارکس دعا آئی جسٹ ریڈ اٹ آؤٹ دیٹ ماٹو فرام تارکس دعا سو دیٹ یو مے انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ از دا ماٹو آف پاکستان آرمی remember there is a majority of the people are not having military background and they are not aware of the motto and other things about the military or the armed forces so once they once they will be acquainted with all these things and the requirements then they easily they can prepare themselves for the issb or they can easily clear and pass those exams which are required for becoming officers in armed forces so my dear students motto has been motto of pakistan army has been taken from tarak's dua and this motto is these gazis these devoted souls of your lordship whom you have blessed with the zeal of your worship their legions overcome deserts and river and trample mountains to dust with their fervor they care not for the world's pleasure the love of the lord are their treasures the mission and aim of the momen believer believer momen the mission and aim of the momen believer is martyrdom shahadat martyrdom that is shahadat <clears throat> not the booty of war nor crave for a kingdom it's in the battlefield of andalus tarak ki dua this is what the motto of the pakistan army now Pakistan army so strongly believes and i must say it is the base of pakistan army this is of pakistan army that is iman taqwa jihad fi sabil allah what is iman iman is if somebody is uh, having faith and uh, how we can say it is the it, the man is having true faith so it mean he never bestowed to any before anybody except allah he believes in oneness of god this is what the iman the follower having nothing in mind 
he or she does not follow anyone but allah he follows allah he seeks guidance from allah he worship he prayers before allah second thing is follower of none but is messenger if somebody is follower of none but allah if somebody is follower of none but his messenger mean prophet rasul peghambar so this is what the iman pakistan army has its iman that is follower none but allah follower none but his messenger second thing is the taqwa taqwa basically fear of allah protect one's hands tongue body from the evil this is what the taqwa aur taqwa ka jo major perception hai wo aise hi फॉलो की जाती है कि जैसे एक इंसान जंगल में जा रहा है कारदार जंगल है कांटे हैं बहुत नैरो उसमें पाथ है रास्ता है इंसान जा रहा है अपने दामन को उसने बचाना है कांटों से अगर एक कांटा भी दामन में लग जाता है दागदार होता है सो दिस इज वट द स्पिरिट ऑफ तक टू refrain from any deed from any action that takes him or her towards the evil then the third thing is the jihad fi sabil allah this is what the main objective of islam basically jihad is is the fight against the evil it is uh, very much uh, favorable in the well being of all the humanity it is the real objective of the islam what is the real objective of islam basically is to shift the lordship of man over man to the lordship of allah on the earth and to stake one's life and everything else to achieve this sacred purpose basically it is for protection of all the humans on the earth it is for their well being it is protecting them from any evil so basically this war is against the evil then definitely at the end i have already explained in motto also the mission of pakistan army mission of pakistan army basically serves as the land based branch of the pakistan it is basically they are our protector they are our they guarding us from any foreign attack or from any uh, from any country having bad wishes or evil wishes uh, against our land so i would uh, advise all the youngsters who are having age to apply for issb uh, do prepare yourself for this sacred job and if you will prepare themselves fully devotedly inshallah you will become officer in armed forces and will serve this country uh, with uh, courage and uh, with the faith which i have explained thank you to all assalam alaikum